In this lesson, we're going to explore how we can run our programs as we continue to work with our code. So there are two ways that we can go about running our code. The first one would be to find the file that contains the main method. Once we're there, right-click on that file and select Run As Java Application in this case. Now it will take some time to run the first time there, but you can see that our menu did pop up. We have everything there. We can go ahead and select that we want to exit or not. And let's go ahead and exit. And the other way to run the program would be to simply go up to the top and find this play button. And you can see that as I highlight it, it does select and say as a tooltip, run program. So you can note that there is a drop down and we can change the configuration of how it runs if for some reason this was going to be run on a server rather than just as an application. Of course, this is just an application, so we can continue to run as there or we can simply select the play button. Now that it's built, of course, it runs a little faster this time. But essentially, those are two very easy, very quick ways to run the program. Now it also says that you can run as using Alt-Shift-X and then R for server or J for application. So if I'm on the file here and I hit Alt-Shift-X and then J, you can see that it will run. And you may have noticed that when I hit Alt-Shift-X, it brings up a menu over here as well. So if I want to run this as Java application, I could either hit J or I can select that double click it and it will run. And that wraps up our look at different ways to run our program.